All right, so I have continued to um, weave my herringbone bangle, my interrupted version of it. And what we're trying to get to is the, the gold length of the bracelet um, being able to fit around the widest part of my hand. And I'm a little short. And that, and I don't have enough thread to get to the length. I am dropping the link into my description bar. Um, the name of the video is um, video number four, threading a beading needle and adding thread to a project. And this is by Gina Gem Creation Beginning Beaters. Um, and it was published uh, September 17th, 2017. She shows you how to add on. She shows you how to um, tie on, and she and uh, coincidentally, she's doing a a herringbone stitch. I hadn't remembered that she was doing that, but if you watch that video, you will see that she is really good at that. I'm not good at tying on, um, but also, I'm I'm sorry, I'm not good at extending the fire line, but. I'm going to tie on, because I'm using wildfire thread, I'm going to tie on a piece of thread for you. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Um, so I still have my needle attached and I are, and I, and I'm not going to need another wingspan of um, fire line, I mean wildfire to continue this. So I cut off um, a one yard piece for me that is um i i start measuring from my shoulder and i extend one of my arms out to its side and for me that ends up being a yard so well, how i'm going to to tie on is i'm going to make a little knot go around one time and just make a knot with my new piece of wildfire here i'm not going to I'm, but before I pull it, I'm going to pass my needle through it so that the new thread is now on the old thread, around the old thread. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull, pull that tight. And I'm going to take my new thread and I'm going to slide it down right here to my size 6OC bead. Now, this may not work for every project, but it's going to work for this project because I'm using the size 6OC bead, which is uh, has a nice size hole. I'm going to take my needle off of the old thread now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the short piece of the new thread along with the old thread, and I'm and I'm going to hold those together and I'm going to tie a knot with the length of my new thread. I'm going to go around once here and pull and I'm going to go again and pull that and that is how I tie on my thread. What I end up doing with the old ones, with my old threads, are I normally wouldn't, uh, I, would, I would weave them back into the project. That's what I would normally do. And, um, but today, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to nip here. And I'm going to just let that sit there. I'm going to let that stay there. And when I get to the to the end of the project, those those two pieces will be sticking out and I'll burn them down um, and it should really be secure. But in the meantime, continue with your weave work until your bracelet fits around the widest part of your hand and, and you end with a crystal connection. Only this side only this side of the crystal connection because what we're going to do is we're going to put these ends together but one side and I'm going to put it with the you know where my beginning is but it has to end with the crystal 
one side of the crystal connection. So we'll get together and we will close this thing up. Thanks.